Hello and welcome to Storytime for Kids. Today we're going to read Wild Reptiles, Snakes, Crocodiles, Lizards, and Turtles. And you know these guys, right? These are the wild crabs. So you will be able to find this book in two different playlists. One that will be about animals and then the other one that is from stepping to reading. And you can find them in the description below. Here we go. Imagine if you could do what reptiles do. You could crawl, climb, or slither just like them. But what are reptiles? Most reptiles hatch from eggs. Reptiles have scales. Reptiles are cold-blooded. That means they need the sun to get warm. Crocodiles and alligators, lizards, snakes, and turtles are all reptiles. Let's learn more about them. Activate creature powers. Rattlesnakes. A rattlesnake has special scales on its tail. The scales are used to make a rattling sound. The sound is a warning that the snake wants to be left alone. Rattlesnakes have long fangs. They use their fangs to catch food and defend themselves. Venom comes through the fangs when they strike. The venom is poisonous. Watch out, Martin warns the coyote. Crocodiles. The Nile crocodile is one of the biggest reptiles. It is not afraid of the hippos and lions that also use the river. A Nile crocodile has more than 60 teeth. Open wide, says Chris. A mother crocodile is gentle with her babies. She watches over them and protects them. She even carries them carefully in her jaws. This is a fun way to travel, says Martin. <laughs> Draco lizards. A Draco lizard has wing-like structures that unfold from its sides to help it move through the air. It can glide from tree to tree, jump, glide, land. Dracos make it look easy. I need more practice, says Chris. <laughs> Basilisk lizards. Many reptiles swim. Only one can run on top of the water. The basilisk lizard has big web feet. Its feet move so fast it can run across the water without sinking. Wait for me, shouts Chris. Have you ever seen these guys running on the water? It's amazing. You should check it out. Gila monsters. These lizards mostly live underground. They only come up for sun, water, and food. Nice to get out once in a while, says Martin. Rock pythons. A python is a constricting snake. It wraps around its prey and squeezes, then swallows it whole. Rock pythons live in holes of the African savanna. They eat gazelles and warthogs. Want me to untangle you now? Asks Chris. <laughs> Geckos. Geckos are small lizards with a big creature power. A gecko has special toes that can hold onto almost any surface, even glass. That's why they can walk on the ceiling, on the walls, everywhere. Turtles. There are more than 300 different kinds of turtles and tortoises, with one creature power in common, a shell. It helps to protect them when they are in danger. The tortuga is shaped like a turtle. It protects the wild crabs. And in case you don't know, tortuga is turtle in Spanish. Alligators. Alligators are related to crocodiles, but they have wide snouts. Crocodiles have pointy, narrow snouts. This is an alligator, and this is a crocodile. Alligators are grayish black. Crocodiles are brownish green. Both creatures can grow to be very big. You do see some differences, right? Later, gator, says Chris. In a wild crocodile, Martin replies, Go, creature powers! The end. 
Wow, that was a lot of information. Did you like the book? I did. And just so you know, we have three turtles and three tortoises. So, yeah, we really like reptiles in this house. <laughs> well, thank you so much for listening, and I will see you soon.